Hi guys. It is a gray and gloomy day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization here on Bugs in a Jar Farm uh, on this rainy, what is it, Wednesday night, July 29th, 2020. And despite the fact that the distraction continues. I, I just can't resist this. I don't know how, uh, oh, by the way, I am, this is Collapse Chronicles. I am Sam Mitchell. This is my little, my little, uh, damn it. This is my little trail pal Sancho Panza, so hopefully we will not get any more interruptions here. So anyway, I don't know how I missed this. This actually came out, uh, this, this original study came out back in May in, uh, in scientific reports called Deforestation and World Population Sustainability, a Quantitative Analysis, but it took my old buddy uh, Nafiz Ahmed uh, writing for Motherboard at Vice News has finally come along and tried to put this long involved article about how screwed we are into a readable form at Vice News. So I was going to run with this article by Nafis, but at the, here in the 11th hour, Alert Tribes member, the Feeder Monkey, the Feeder Monkey has, uh, has found an even better spin on this. He has sent me the version of the Daily Mail, the Daily Mail's version of this in which the Daily Mail just blatantly plagiarizes Nafiz Ahmed's article pretty much verbatim word for word without giving Nafiz one bit of, uh, of credit here. They give it to Raven Salt saying that she wrote this. So this plagiarist Raven's Raven Salt. Uh, <laughs> what I love about the Daily Mail, what I'm going to do here is I, I'm going to read the article. And as I'm reading this article in the Daily Mail, I'm going to read, you know, all of the little teasers as you, as you read through articles in the Daily Mail. The Daily Mail is like the National Enquirer of England, I believe. And uh, so anyway, what we're going to do is read this plagiarized story, uh, which was really written by, this is just an edited version of Nafiz's uh, story titled, Human Civilization Stands a 90% Chance of Collapse within decades due to deforestation, physicists claim. The findings come from a peer-reviewed paper published in Nature Scientific Reports in May. And I'll put the link that really is an interesting report uh, in which it talks about how deforestation means loss of planetary life support systems needed for survival, including uh, human survival. So take it away, Raven slash Nafis. <clears throat> human civilization stands a 90% chance of a, quote, irreversible collapse, close quote, within decades as a result of deforestation, physicists claim. It is thought by these physicists and a lot more people, that within the next two to four decades, planet Earth may no longer be able to sustain a large human population or large population of any other 
uh, Earthling, due to the destruction of forest, according to a peer-reviewed paper published in Nature Scientific Reports, the study written by Dr. Gerardo Aquino and Professor Mauro Bologna, both of whom are physicists, states that if the rate of deforestation continues, all the forest on the planet would disappear approximately into 100 to 200 years. Okay, inside the Kardashians' epic Malibu retreat, Courtney relaxes in busty swimsuit at the palatial $120 million home where the stars are hanging out this summer. Back to the uh, article. Clearly, it is unrealistic to imagine, this is quoting the, uh, the, the physicist in the article, quote, clearly it is unrealistic to imagine that the human society would start to be affected by the de deforestation only when the last tree would be cut down, close quote. And in the and in the big study, uh, which I'll link you to, they talk a lot about you know comparing what's going on on the planet here in the year 2020 into the final years of Easter Island. Um, anyway, <clears throat> Queen did slap down Meghan over her choice of wedding day tiara, but Duchess blames Her Majesty's dresser Angela Kelly for the bust-up. Alright, back to the article. This trajectory, you know, the trajectory of, uh, of a 90, uh, you know, humans going extinct here, uh, this trajectory would result in the loss of planetary life support systems necessary for human survival, including carbon storage, oxygen production, soil conservation, and water cycle regulation. Kim, this is an exclusive. Kim Kardashian heads straight to the photo shoot after flying back from Wyoming as it is revealed she urged Kanye West to quit presidential bid and she feels trapped in marriage. Okay, then they have a picture of these planet eaters in Brazil uh, burning the last remaining trees uh, in this, in this clear-cut in the Amazon jungle. It is thought this would ultimately result in in the collapse of human civilization as, quote, it is highly unlikely to imagine the survival of many species, including ours, on Earth without forest, close quote. Yes, high fashion without the price tag. Our stylist reveals summer fashion staples you can wear with confidence and where you can find them on a budget. The paper, which was published in May of this year, states, quote, the progressive degradation of the environment due to deforestation would heavily affect human society and consequently the human collapse would start much earlier, close quote. Meghan Markle was left frustrated and emotional after a palace aide scolded her for wearing necklace with the initials H and M. Uh, <laughs> okay, the earth was originally covered by 60 million square kilometers of forest before the development of human civilizations, but now following deforestation accelerated due to human activity, there is less than 40 million square kilometers remaining. Tennis star 
Naomi Osaka 22 claps back at creepy internet trolls after coming under fire for posting bikini images on Instagram. Quoting the, uh, quoting the article, quote, Calculations show that maintaining the actual rate of population growth and resource consumption, in particular forest consumption, we have a few decades left before an irreversible collapse of our civilization. The paper, quote, close quote, the paper concludes. Kendall Jenner showcases her refined taste as she gives the world a glimpse into her art-packed bohemian Los Angeles mansion. The authors, having tracked the current rate of population growth against the rate of deforestation, stated that, quote, statistically, the probability to survive without facing a catastrophic collapse is very low. Yes. Uh, then we find, uh, what do we find next here after this? Uh, TikTok stars with more than 37 million followers are moving to rival Triller as they say they feel unsafe over data reports after Donald Trump says he is looking at banning the app. Yes, the banning the TikTok app. Okay, back to the, the story at hand. The best case scenario, the best case scenario is that we have a less than 10% chance of avoiding collapse. Quoting, this is a lengthy quote directly from this long study about all that sheep raven probably stole this quote from Nafiz Ahmed, quoting the authors. Quote, in conclusion, our model shows, yes, little dog, my little dog has a collapsed trachea. Yes, are you finished snorfling? In conclusion, our model shows that a catastrophic collapse in human population due to resource consumption is the most likely scenario of the dynamical evolution based on current parameters. We conclude from a statistical point of view that the probability of our civilization survives itself is less than 10% in the most optimistic scenario. Calculations show that maintaining the actual rate of population growth and resource consumption, in particular forest consumption, we have a few decades left before an irreversible collapse of our civilization. Okay, Bella Hadid, is it Gigi Hadid or Be Bella Hadid? Twitter users mock Gigi Hadid's ugly redesign of her $5.8 million New York apartment, voicing horror over her rainbow pasta cabinets, mismatched skis, bowl of pool balls, and giant yellow pen. Back to the article. A model developed by the authors went on to depict human population growth reaching a maximum level 
that is undermined by the debilitation of forest, after that point, after that point, a rapid, disastrous collapse in population occurs before eventually reaching a low population state or total extinction. We call this point in time the no return point because if the deforestation rate is not changed before this time, the human population will not be able to sustain itself and a disastrous collapse or even extinction will occur." Close quote. So now we're going to go check out Bella Hadid wearing a mask. Bella Hadid embraces the retro trend as she goes vintage shopping in a super quirky look from the bright tank top to her shades not counting the mask, Bella was dressed to turn heads in her 90s inspired look. Okay, Dr. Gerardo Aquino and Professor Mauro Bologna said that without changing the unsustainable levels of population growth and resource consumption, the only other possibility of survival would come from an unprecedented degree of technological development. Okay, Lori Laughlin and Mosimo Ganuli slashed $10 million off the price of their Bel Air estate to sell to Tinder co-founder Justin Mateen after putting it on the market for $28.65 million. Okay, talking about technology saving the planet, I love that, they, that Vice News actually called them techno-utopians. Vice News, the, the term techno-utopian showing up in uh, Vice News. I also noticed the word corona panic showing up in an article recently, but we won't go there. Okay, quote, the consumption of natural resources, in particular forest, is in competition with our technological level. Higher technological levels lead to growing population and higher forest consumption, but also to a more effective use of resources. I guess these guys have never heard of Jevons Paradox. With higher technological level, we can, in principle, develop technical solutions to avoid and prevent the ecological collapse of our planet, or as a last chance to rebuild our civilization in extraterrestrial space." Close quote. And then next to that, as Ghislaine Maxwell documents are set to be released, Epstein accusers fear explicit sex tapes and photos could be made public. Okay, how about this for an idea? Another alternative the authors suggest would be to fundamentally transform the, you know, the human civilization we already have. How about that uh, for an idea? The underlying factor in the current collapse trajectory is that consumption of the planetary resources may not be perceived as strongly as a mortal danger for the human civilization because it is driven by the economy. And now we hear that Kathy Lee Gifford reveals Regis Philbin protected her 
after her husband Frank was caught cheating on her with married flight attendant. Okay, the authors suggest that to escape our collapsed trajectory, quote, we may have to redefine a different model of society that in some ways privileges the interest of the ecosystem above the individual interest of its components, but eventually in, in accordance with the overall communal interest. <clears throat> Jennifer Lopez leaves her $1 million diamond engagement ring from A-Rod at home for a bike ride in the Hamptons. And then they, you know, they are, uh, and, and I have to admit, I'm embarrassed to see that, uh, that Nafis even, uh, you know, they're just, the Raven is just, is just plagiarizing Nafis here. I was a little bit embarrassed to see that Nafis insulted his intelligence and mine uh, with, uh, so this is not, Nafis uh, was talking about this in his essay. The study comes as the rate of global deforestation reportedly declined over the last few decades, according to a joint report in 2020 by the UN Food and Agricultural Organization and the UN Environment Program. In the 1990s, the average rate of deforestation was around 16 million hectares per year, but between 2015 and 2020, this had decreased to an estimated average of 10 million hectares. That's 25 million acres being uh, lost uh, annually. It is thought that the cause of this is that new forests are being established both naturally and man-made despite ongoing deforestation. And, and, and there's so many places to blow the bullshit whistle on that. That's where they closed out the article. At least Bafiz redeemed himself in blowing the BS whistle of that statement on the, uh, on the UN uh, making these absolutely absurd claims that the uh, rate of deforestation uh, is, it would lead you to believe is decreasing and with no mention of Jair Bozo Nero down there in the Amazon rainforest. But we're going to uh, leave you with Garth Brooks withdraws from the Country Music Association Awards Entertainer of the Year Prize after winning it seven times. Quote, it is time for somebody else to hold it. <laughs> Thank you, uh, former advertising executive Garth Brooks. Don't even get me on a rant talking about the uh, death of country music. But anyway, uh, I always appreciate seeing how the Daily Mail is covering the collapse of this planet. And uh, I gotta wrap this up because it looks like it has actually stopped raining and uh, it is getting to be margarita time here at Bugs in a Jar Farm. And then I got to start figuring out how to use my brand new computer. I got my brand new computer up and running today and now I just have to figure out where to begin figuring out how to use it. So anyway, if you enjoyed this little uh, input from the Daily Mail, please spend a few seconds thumbing this up. If you did not thumb it down, please subscribe while you're over here. We'd love to have you aboard, and I will see you 
Oh, I will see you on Friday with the Ecological Meltdown Roundup rant from Manga Bay. Until then, get out there and enjoy this planet in the few decades we have left before a catastrophic collapse of uh, humanity and every earthling we share this planet with. Yes, little dog, you want a margarita or not? Bye, guys.